Hey guys, what's going on? Tonight we're going to be talking about BOK Financial mobile website. If you guys are unfamiliar, BOK Financial Corporation is a bank holding company headquartered in the BOK Tower in Tulsa, Oklahoma. The company is 60% owned by George Kaiser, who acquired the bank in 1991 from the FDIC. It is the largest bank in Oklahoma with 14% of the total deposits in the state. As of December 17, 2017, 17% of its loan portfolio was to borrow borrowers in the petroleum so just to give you guys a little background on what the OK Financial is all about, you can see up top at the link here that's going to take you to the mobile website, the OK Financial Banking. So first we're on the page for online and mobile banking enrollment. Some important things to have on you when you're signing up for mobile banking would definitely be your ATM or debit card, your paper bank statement with your account information, and then your social security card if you don't know the number by heart. So here, this bank is kind of nice because it tells you up front what you need. So it tells you you the OK financial account number, debit card number, and PIN number, social security number, and email address. It says if you don't have the above information, you will need to visit any one of our convenient locations to enroll today. Agree, you could read and agree to all this writing right here. What to agree to when you're signing up for an account with the OK financial or signing up for a mobile account with them. Terms and conditions, I agree to these terms and conditions. Let's click agree. So get started. So it's going to ask you for your account information, user profile, so you would set up a user ID and password, a security question, and then some online statements. So please enter the requested information below. Your BOK financial account number, checking, savings, or money market, social security number, your debit card number only last eight digits, and then you would hit continue. Okay, so login. So you could choose here if you want to do online banking, online investing, credit card, health savings account, so on and so forth. So we're going to click online banking, and then you would put in your username. You could go ahead and log in. I don't see a way to retrieve lost password, which I wanted to go over with you guys. I don't know if maybe that's not an option with this website. Okay, so to log in, I actually went ahead and went to um, a different mobile uh, website for BOK Financial. So the thing I just showed you last was how to register for online banking with BOK Financial. This is how to log in. So you guys can see the web description up there for the website that will take you to this login page. So you could type in your username and your password. You have the option to click remember me if you'd like to not have to put it, um, your user ID and password in each and every time you sign in, especially if you're going on it multiple times a day. And then you could go to forgot username or forgot password. So if you forgot your password, put in your user ID verification. So you would put your user ID in, click on not a robot will probably ask you for some more personal information and then you would hit continue. Um, and then if you forgot your username, select user type, participant, or sponsor, and you would have to put in your social security number, your date of birth, and hit I'm not a robot and then hit continue. So those two things are to retrieve um, user ID and password. And then of course, this is to register for the online access again that we went over before. Type in your username and password, click I'm not a robot. And here we are back in the login page. So guys, Tonight, we went over BOK Financial logging in, password and username retrieval, and then how to sign in for online mobile access to BOK Financial. So I hope you guys found the video useful, and I thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you all have a really great night. See you later.